Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, back again. Today's recipe is uh, fish curry, that is uh, masli ka khatta. So I am using it in a different way, that is I am using sea bass fish, that is pandu, with along with the raw mango and uh, drumsticks. Very tasty dish, stay tuned guys. Here I am taking uh, taking uh, sea bass fish that is available in the market here fresh fish so this fish uh, freshly we are cut into pieces and we are arranged it in a pan now in this goes uh, we have made some <coughs> five five medium size uh, onion and five to six tablespoons of desiccated coconut and grind it we have made a paste this paste goes into the fish this fish i have marinated before with salt and then we added the onion paste into this into the we add uh, six medium sized tomatoes tomato puree okay so for one and a half kg fish we have taken six onions and six medium sized tomatoes okay onions also about medium size so make it into fine paste and add it to the fish into this we add two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste into this we add uh, one cut tomato and uh, 10 to 15 green chilies and curry curry leaves okay so green chilies we have just taken full green chilies with uh, we, we make a cut at the top of a green chili okay so we add this after this we will add the dry masalas and in this specially we added the raw cut mango okay raw mango which is cut into nice pieces and into this we add dry masala this raw mango i have taken about three fourth cup of raw mango and to this we add one teaspoon of haldi that is turmeric four teaspoons of red chili powder two spoons teaspoons of dhania powder one full teaspoon of zira powder so actually it is zira with methi zira methi powder okay to this we add uh, rock salt three spoons full of rock salt and to this we are going to add this this is two drumsticks okay so this is a special attraction in the fish curry drumsticks are generally not added and we add here drumstick and raw cut mango okay please do note that now in this we add one full cup of uh, tamarind water tamarind pulp which is taken and watered it. okay now we'll mix this and we will switch on the flame mix whole thing very gently okay don't use the much force so gentle mi mixing should be there see this is after mixing we added for mixing we added about uh, four cups of water into this we add the required quantity of oil so better if you add one two three fourth cup of oil okay now we put it on the flame after 15 to 20 minutes keep on stirring it uh, very gently in between and then 
we add a little bit of zira methi again powder on the top and a full bunch of coriander leaves fresh coriander leaves and now in this stage you can taste the soreness and also the salt of it if needed you can add according to your taste so this is our fish curry getting ready okay almost all ready stirring has to be very gentle like this okay so don't use any spoons or anything just stir it like this another after another 15 minutes see the oil has come out and almost all the fish curry is ready now we give him final mix see now our fish curry with domestic and raw mango is ready to serve right look at the pieces how nicely they are so then we can call this as a, in different languages chapala pulusu in telugu it is chapala pulusu with pachi mavadi kaya and munak kaya chapala pulusu in tamil we call it as meen kolambu okay so please try it now we are serving we are transferring the fish curry into a serving dish delicately you should separate the fish pieces first lay it as a layer into the dish